here we want to solve this rational equation. To do so, we want to multiply both sides by the least common denominator in order to get rid of our fractions. This denominator on the right, we can actually factor out a 2 to see that it is 2 times y plus 5. That means our common denominator contains the factor of 2 and the factor of y plus 5. So we're going to multiply our entire expression by 2 and y plus 5. Now, notice we're just multiplying by 2 and y plus 5, not the same thing over itself. The reason is because of this equal sign. You can multiply as long as you multiply both sides of the equal sign. So what we'll have is the 2 and the y plus 5 multiplied by the 3 over the y plus 5. Then we'll have minus the 2 times the y plus 5 multiplied by the 1 equals the 2 times the y plus 5 multiplied by the 4 minus y over the 2 times the y plus 5. So here the y plus 5 cancels in our first one, leaving 2 times 3, which is 6, minus nothing cancels here, so we're left with minus, and it's minus the 2y, and minus 2 times 5 is minus 10, distributing this negative through this whole product. Equals, here the 2 cancels and the y plus 5 cancels, leaving 4 minus y. So this is what we're going to solve for y. 6 minus 10 is negative 4 minus 2y equals 4 minus y. If I add 2y to both sides, I get negative 4 equals y um, plus the 4 that was already there. So adding 2y to both sides. And so then subtracting the 4, I get negative 8 equals y. And I want to double check and make sure a negative 8 plus 5 doesn't equal 0. So it's not an undefined point. Therefore, if it's not an undefined point, then it is the solution. So y equals negative 8 is our solution.